Hey folks, Stacy here, Stacy from Homestead on the Hill. And uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm actually starting to use my old uh, peanut here and learning how to maximize the production out of a log. So I've actually gone ahead already and done some work on this log, but I'm just going to talk about what I did and what my next steps are. So first off, anyway, so this one here, the bark came off nice and easy, so there was no um, no sign of, uh, there was no chance of hitting rocks and debris as I'm cutting with it, so that made, a, that made it easier. And it also makes it so that the log, you can actually see the log, you can see what timber you're dealing with. So with that being said, I'm going to put this over here, right down there. Um, come on in close over here. This log is, I've got it cut into a cant, so it's just over seven, it's seven inches this way, and it is eight and a half this way. So what I want to do, what I did, was I looked down the length of the log. If you look down here, yeah, there you go, I'm taking the camera. If you look down the length of the log, you can see this stuff right in here. That is called, I believe it's called Wayne. Anyway. I took a slice off of here. That way, I clean up. I clean up this piece here. Get rid of this. So this is a one by. This is like a uh, basically a one by eight or something like that. You can always use one bys for. I can always use one bys for strapping. Like when you look up in here, I'm gonna have to rebuild this before the winter. I'm gonna use one bys for that. They're always useful, and this way. I'm maximizing my uh, production of two buys. So when you look down here, see how they, this one here, the top two by six that comes off of here will have some of this on it <clears throat> because what I'm going to do is, there you be. So you can see the first two by six that comes off of here will have some <clears throat> it will have some wane on it. But let's have a look here. Let's see. So if I make that one two and a quarter, that makes up for the this dip, these little divots here. That's two and a quarter, four and a quarter, six and a quarter. And then that leaves me with a piece at the bottom that is two and a quarter. See what I do is I put a, a line like that. <clears throat> so the top one will be two and a quarter and then maximizes the production out of this log rather than saying, oh, I'm gonna cut off a, um, I'm gonna cut off a half inch slab. That's no good for nothing. Didn't optimize the log. So then I thought, I need to think about this more carefully. So I, this will be my six inch across here. So then I'll have two by six, two by six, two by six, two by six. Should get four two by sixes out of this. Should we take a cut out of this? See what we can get? Okay. Okay, here's another thing I learned. So I do that and then I drill that into there. See this little point in here? See this thing here? It drills, it makes a hole in the lumber. And so what I do is I put this on here and then walk the bottom in down there. There we go. And then screw that into there. So it puts a divot into this, but not into my, not into my actual product, my lumber. Another. See this thing here, I back it out. And then Loosen this up. These are just little things, little techniques. Lock this in place, right in tight. <clears throat> and then, and the fact is the saw blade pulls the timber that way. So it pulls it around back into the um, uh, braces in the back. So these are just to hold it there. You don't have to clamp it like crazy tight. Let's go see if this thing will start. Oh. 
Okay, so that's at one and a quarter. There's two. So I want to lower the I want to lower the carriage, the blade, down to three. And that way I will have a two and a quarter inch cut. Okay, let me get my hand on the crank. You come around behind me. Got that loosened. And coming down to there. Okay, the pin, release that, that goes in there. And then, look down in there where the blade is. So, if you look at it, you think like, geez, that looks like a massive cut. So, you can say, well, I don't trust my, I don't trust the measuring tape, so I'm gonna put this other measuring tape in here. You'll notice the, the, chain, the machine is off. See, it looks massive, but, it's just two and a quarter. Now pull that back, lock the height in, clank there, clank there. Um, got the, the, the lube going on the on the dripper over here. Okay, open this up. Ooh. And you can see the bubble starting to come down. And there it is dripping onto the blade. I'll just lock that in place. I hold that and put the little lock. I just put water in there and I put, I can't remember, was it, um, I don't know, a quarter cup of dish soap in there. It makes it so that it keeps that lubed and uh, keeps the blade cutting freely. thing back over come back over here you want the guide in quite close but not too too close so now this is that's supporting it really quite close to the timber can you see that can i is that does it look good yep so to start it you deactivate the emergency stop so that's that's clear uh, I'm gonna give it some choke because it's been sitting and it may backfire it may go kerpow um, it does that on occasion not so much when it's cooled off but when it's hot it does turn the choke off As soon as I get to the end, I pop this sh shut off. I click that. I walk around here. <clears throat> I click this. So now the carriage can move up and down. And then I take this, put it over on the lumber pile. <clears throat> now, I pull it back and I look and I watch the blade. So you go down in the front there and look at the blade. Remember that time when I pulled it back and it was running? And it went kerpow, knocked the blade off. Anyway, I don't need to crank it up. I want to lower the I want to lower the blade down another two inches, so that would be four, five. Going down, the elevator going down. Lock that right there. Now, let me get my ass down in behind me here. Okay. 
that's clear, that's clear. Um, now, I do like to run with this support in tight, but what I can see is that if I do, it's going to run into, it might run into those, um, the log dogs, the ones that are holding it in place. So I'm going to slide it out a little bit. And I'm looking here. That one was clear. Okay, see what I did? Come on around there. I lowered this down. Lowered this down so it's absolutely clear. Let's go along here. That's pretty close, right? Whoop! I'll tighten that up. Right about there. Now what do they say? There's those who have cut their log dogs and those who have not yet cut their log dogs. I'm staying in the not yet camp for this time. Okay. Oh, there we go. The lock. The lock. Eyeball. Come on down here. And I look straight down the line and see, okay, I'm going to clear that one. I'm going to clear all the dogs. Pull it back so it's not touching. I'm going to give that a twist. That unlocks that. And look, safety. Okay, this one may give the kerpow. I start using my bean again. Brian and I were puzzled this out. What I do is instead of putting this on the log pile or the lumber pile, put it over there because I want to cut this in half. I want to make another two by out of that and I can't do it with it sitting the way it is. So, so yeah, put that one underneath it so that it's holding against this one there. I'm gonna leave leave that one down and put that one up. And then <clears throat> Do you see how that is just straddling the line there? God, the bugs are bad today. Could be because I haven't bathed for three weeks. <clears throat> they figure I'm some kind of a corpse. Okay, so that's holding that in place. Now, I'm at three, and I'm gonna go down and cut a two by. So, I'm gonna go to the five. Look down the log, down the timber. Can you see the dogs down that side? Am I gonna hit them? Is it clear? <sighs> okay. Lock in place. Okay. Lock, lock. Start the engine. You wanna come around here? This, this is probably the time that's gonna get the kapow. Okay, look at this. Just under two, like a, an eighth of an inch under two inches. So, let me put this on the lumber pile. Okay, two and a quarter. So, the other one was just under two. I get, I'm still a greenhorn, so I get nervous cutting too low. Like I, um, 
get a little Hershey kiss in my pants when I when I'm sawing right by that thing there. I'm just wait, I'm just dreading the I'm just dreading the zing as the blade hits the metal. So I kind of err on the side of caution. But hey, look at that. A two by, a big two by, two two bys. How long are these? Did you measure these, kid? No. Thirteen foot eight. So I can easily get a twelve footer out of that. Because you know there's some check on each end. So there you have it. Starting to use my bean, starting to think about it um, to maximize my production. My usual routine, I'm gonna be putting it away for a week. Um, so I run the float bowl. Come on over here, you can see this now. I turn, this is the fuel. I turn the fuel from on to off. So it's off and then I run it to go and then it runs out of fuel. And that way this bowl underneath here is not sitting there full of fuel. And then it's a quick release. So I pull that out and then I just tuck that in there. Um, and I take this out of here and I put this away. Uh, bears are the strangest animals. They will smell human touch on this and they will come and they will just chew on this and just wreck it. There's no food, there's nothing good in it for them, but they just chew on it because it smells like a human. They think, hmm, maybe that's tasty. So what I do is when I'm gonna leave it for, and we had a bear just last night, not, um, what, 30 feet in front of the cabin, just um, looking um, looking in, seeing what we're doing. We were cooking pork chops and they smelled pretty good. But anyway, so I just, this is, this is my, my practice. So I take that off, shut the flow off the engine off and I'm gonna be back a little bit so I'm just I'm gonna leave the tarp off of it okay let's go put this away so that's it for another week of homestead on the hill and that's how I have started to learn to maximize the production out of a timber out of a log it's it's about when you what I'm learning is that when you have the timber on there you got to look at it, roll it over. It's a hard work rolling it and looking at it, but hey, that way you get better production out of the timber. And uh, I'm quite pleased with the result. Uh, not perfect. And um, if you got um, if you got other ideas, go ahead, leave a comment. I'm 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 learning, and I'm just showing you what how I'm what I'm doing as I'm learning. So uh, that's it for this week. Take care, be kind to one another, and we'll talk again soon. You know, do the old like and subscribe for me if you would. I'm driving to a thousand subscribers and we're getting close. So take care, folks. Bye for now. I think they're hawks. Maybe they see mice. You filming? Yeah.